Hello, Soaring here, in-game name, Fina. How's it going? I'm gonna teach you guys how to, uh, what's a, some effective ways of building in Trove. And a lot of people have had trouble with this, and I've been asked, um, because I have mad skills when it comes to building. Um, and, and I want to pass that information along to you. You know? Save. So, this is my club. I been working on this for a while now uh, it's all me so you can you can trust me when it comes to building things so basically when you're gonna start um, there are two ways that you're gonna be building and I'll be horizontally and vertically vertically is gonna be used for these walls whenever you need one high structures or here Horizontally is when you're going to be laying bases, like you see here. Okay, so hopefully we can show the difference between those things. I'm going to build a, a wall that's not necessarily going to be anything. I'm going to be tearing it down after this video. So here is an example of a wall. So if you're going to have a wall of this height or something like this, um, or if you're going to have a multi-tiered floored building like this, this is here, um, and you want to make flat structures on the side. This is kind of um, a replica of the um, Buffalo City Courthouse building, or at least part of it. But these have re really high flat walls. So if you're building a structure that has these kind of things, you're going to want to use this build technique. And here's the technique. So, um, this is for things that are going to be higher than 20 blocks. Whenever you lay multiples of blocks, you can lay them in a distance about 20 blocks long. So you'll see it goes to here, then stops. So that's 20 blocks. So you'll see if I place it, it'll go down to uh, 99, 79, down here at the bottom. Now I'm going to clean this all up. Let me go ahead and switch over to Laser Mancy real quick. Get yourself some laser mancy gear if you're going to do, be doing a lot of building. That's much better. Okay, so for some reason I have a bug that's been haunting me, removing blocks from my my quick inventory. So, but yeah, I'm going to build 20 high, and the way you can know that is if you put put on your um on your navigation text up here. So you know your position. I think it's get chords or something like that for the command. But um, you see that I'm on level two. If I place a block, I'm in level three. Bring that up to 22, which would be 20 higher than the base level I was standing on. There you go. So if you have a lot of jumps, this is gonna be really useful for you. Basically you jump and then you're gonna place down and let your falling carry you back up. All right. And then from the bottom, you're going to place a block and carry it up with you. Click again and then fall. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. I'm bringing the blocks up. I release, I click again, fall, click again. I just placed 40 blocks. So we're going to repeat that. I'm going to show you again. 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 120. It's just that quick. So, that is the fastest way to place blocks I can think of. I can't manage any other faster way of placing blocks. Even placing them randomly, just clicking at random, making towers up as you go. I can't imagine somebody trying to do that effectively. That is the fastest way I know. Simply 20 down, 20 up, 20 down. Fastest way to build things. And now if we're going to build horizontally, I'm going to actually build part of my building here to show you that. So I'm going to go up a couple floors. I'm actually putting an elevator in here out there. That's all said and done. So I'm going to build a floor and I'm going to show you how I do this. So from here, right, 
you want to stand still and pass your mouse over click release release oh let's see here I am trying to show you things and fuck up right okay so release click pass release click pass just repeat that process as fast as possible when you're building horizontally it can be done pretty quickly but I mean there are people who are badass at this this floor is going to be too thick anyway but I'm gonna I'm particular about how I have my blocks placed so um, and I know that uh, this uh, wall over here is less than uh, a certain width. I'm going to bring these blocks over just to make it easier on myself. So I know where my floor level is. It's here. So I can bring this all the way up to this corner. Release, drag. Release, drag. You get pretty good at this after a while. I actually don't like the way Diggsley looks because he has this bright like flashlight that kind of impedes my vision over the camera occasionally. I mean, it's just like little nitpicky stuff, but it is it does get annoying very quickly. But you can see that uh, building horizontally um, takes a lot longer than building a vertical structure. So if you're designing a structure and you want to build it quickly, you're going to want to have as many vertical parts of it as possible so you can minimize your build time. And note that this building is, has a lot of high vertical walls and smaller horizontal floors, even though they are two blocks thick. Um, it's two blocks thick so that I can have different textures for the ceiling of one floor and the floor of the floor above so that this is going to be this floor ceiling and this layer of blocks here um, will be this this floor's floor so you design your structures around your uh, the speed at which you're going to be able to build them that's my pro tip advice for you Here I am, placing blocks incorrectly. All right, and that part's done. Um, now, if you're building a multi-floored structure like this, building the initial floor is not a problem. It's, it's going to be most of your problem. Um, as for when this floor is done, the horizontal building method will be much faster. And I built this floor just to demonstrate how fast this can really be. You're just going to be passing over like this. It's much easier if you're standing on a surface, building horizontally. It's going to go by much quicker because you don't have to aim at a particular block on a, on a level above because you, the angle in which you're viewing the block is um, going to contribute to the difficulty in which you're you know, placing things. But, yeah, this is a lot easier than going off and doing all that. Pulling the blocks towards you also helps, and pushing them away also helps. But you have to keep in mind how far things are from you. I think you only can place, like, six blocks away. Your range isn't that far. these longer sections um, try to stand in the middle of them and you should be able to in some cases just move one or two blocks away from the edge in both directions if you can't do that effectively then use a shorter placement uh, length that way you can make sure you're able to do that because it'll help you increase your building speed. Also, if you're mixing different block types together, 
Um, I would advise if the pattern on the floor is really small to actually build the entire floor in one color, then re only just remove the blocks that you need to place so that, because um, your laser mancy is going to be pretty fast at removing certain blocks if you're making a pattern. And then placing uh, blocks into the holes left behind is actually much quicker than uh, going through and switching out the blocks to complete a pattern. See, there's that bug again. <laughs> they disappeared from my, my bottom bar. I don't know why that happens, but I do have I do have evidence. You guys can see it in the video. All right, now if you wanted to complete a, a certain pattern, you'd have to lay down the blocks of a particular color first, and then go back and do it with a different colored block. I'm not going to bother placing those in there. You get the point. Also, my green seem to disappear from my sidebar too. Well, um, you know, this has been a, a short tutorial video on how to place blocks quickly and effectively. Um, I'm going to do another video on uh, aspects of design and hopefully um, give you some insight on how to do details and stuff like that. But yeah, if you guys are interested, um, you know where the buttons are below, and I will see you, see you guys later.